Based on new information, we have descriptions of the two offenders and a third person that assisted the offenders with the shooting. The offenders are described as the first one, five foot seven, 160 pounds. The second one, six foot, 175 pounds. Both offenders are believed to be Caucasian in their 20s and both were armed with handguns. Furthermore, it is believed that an Asian male described as five foot nine in his 20s assisted the two offenders by opening or unlocking the restaurant door. At the time, this was an after hours party and the door was locked to the restaurant. On October 26, 2008, at 3.50 a.m., Tina Kong and Kevin Says were seated at a table with four other victims inside the Food Inn East restaurant, 4100 block, Marlboro Drive Northeast. This time, two culprits entered the restaurant wearing disguises and brandishing handguns. They walked directly over to the victim's table and opened fire. It is believed, based on witness evidence and forensic examination, that this was a targeted attack. There were approximately 16 patrons and staff inside the restaurant at the time of the shooting. Kongen says were shot and died instantly. The second victim was shot multiple times and received serious injuries. Two victims received minor injuries and a fourth victim was uninjured. Doug, last week you released the uh, two surveillance uh, photos. Uh, what relation do those photos have with any of the individuals? We believe that those two individuals have information in regards to this investigation. They have been identified and our investigators are endeavoring to locate these individuals and interview them. What we're finding is that over time, time is assisting us with this. The individuals who were reluctant to come forward at the time of the incident are now willing to come forward and provide us with information. Allegiances do change over time. Uh, we're hoping that with this reenactment, it will raise a profile of the incident and generate new information to assist us with moving this investigation forward.